historians have named different periods in history as the Stone Age, the Bronze Age, the Copper, Iron and Steel Ages according to the material most used in those particular periods. Today we come across plastics at every phase of life, be it packing or agriculture, healthcare or high technology. The rich and the poor, the young and the old, the urban and the rural, all depend upon plastics for a variety of their necessities. Considering this evolution and looking at the popularity and usefulness of plastics today, our age could rightly be called the age of plastics. Plastics owe their name to their ability to be shaped to form articles of practical value by various conversion and forming processes. Plastics can be tough and durable, at the same time lightweight and convenient. They are safe and hygienic, flexible and adaptable, reusable and recyclable. These unique characteristics of plastics have in many ways molded the modern world. Packaging is one of the most visible applications of plastics. In India, over 40% of the consumption of plastics goes for packaging. Apart from conserving natural resources, use of plastics in packaging saves transportation fuel as plastics are substantially lighter than conventional packing materials like tin, glass or aluminium. PET bottles and pouches for drinking water reduce the risk of waterborne diseases and provide improvement in the health sector. The versatility of plastics has allowed creating an efficient, pilfer-proof, hygienic and cost-effective packaging of commodities required by the common man in day-to-day -day life. Similarly, the credit goes to plastics for making available fresh and unadulterated milk daily to more than 45 million families in India. Earlier, it used to take a glass bottle weighing 450 grams to pack half a litre of milk. As against that, a plastic pouch weighing less than 2.5 grams is enough now. A 10-ton capacity truck carrying milk in glass bottles would deliver only 5 metric tons of milk, the rest being the weight of glass bottles. In contrast, today the same truck carries about 9.5 metric tons of milk packed in plastic pouches. Obviously, plastics make amazing savings on natural resources. The sight of the golden rays, bathed in the morning mist and filtering through the green foliage of trees, is always enchanting. However, extensive use of wood for furniture manufacturing has reduced our forest resources considerably. The good news is that hundreds and thousands of trees, making partitions, doors, kitchen cabinets and all kinds of fixtures, there is an array of plastic building material. The presence of plastic products in the field of agriculture proves beyond anyone's doubt how eco-friendly plastics can be. For high yields, farmers use mulching and greenhouse cover. Drip irrigation is another area where plastics play an important role. Horticulturists depend on plastics for growing saplings, and also to give them protection from sun during summer. Plastics are so safe and non-toxic that the healthcare sector has found many advanced applications for plastic products. Intravenous fluid bottles, blood bags, urine collection bags, catheters, disposable syringes, oxygen masks, the list of high-tech plastic products 
in healthcare just goes on longer and longer other most commonly used devices are splints and calipers for polio patients made of high density polyethylene the easy to use artificial limbs have given a new lease of life to the otherwise unfortunate individual plastics have been with us for more than 50 years now plastics find new applications every day plastics are becoming more and more eco friendly every day however plastic bags and packaging are under the scanner now plastic bags are blamed for environmental problems and labeled as hazards to human and animal health it is true that lightweight plastic bags are found fluttering around everywhere that rag pickers do not take them because it is not viable as a sellable waste only we the citizens can check the menace of plastic carry bags effectively first of all the illogical use should stop plastic bags can be reused several times but finally it should find its way to the municipal dry garbage bin if better civic sense prevails if our litter anywhere habits change with improved waste management systems plastic carry bags will continue to give us convenience and value for money influenced by insufficient information many think that burning of plastic bags causes carbon monoxide poisoning endocrine damage hormone disruption and even cancers plastic carry bags are made out of polyethylene which consists of carbon and hydrogen only when burnt under controlled conditions it releases harmless carbon dioxide and water vapor the components found in the air when we breathe out any organic natural material be it firewood paper or cloth when burnt would also release the same there is a feeling that plastic bags choke drains during monsoon this is debatable a cursory look at our sewers and drains will prove that people dump all kinds of objects indiscriminately in fact plastics form a very small percentage of the dumped waste plastic will move closer to perfection as a material when the problem of waste management is dealt with efficiently and effectively segregation of recyclable material at source is the first step in solid waste management the indian center for plastics in the environment icpe has been working in association with ngos and civic authorities to collect dry waste from housing societies and apartments in selected areas of mumbai through trained rag pickers the two bin system for dry and wet wastes is easy and time saving in terms of waste management the rag pickers bring dry waste to the collection site and segregate plastics from other material In the areas covered by ICPE the rack pickers earn around rupees 4700 per month by selling segregated plastics an example of digging out wealth from waste almost all of the common plastics can in principle be recycled and in a country like India recycling is essential for the economy too in our country many innovations are taking place in the area of municipal waste management this machine for example separates paper and plastics from the combined municipal wastes and gives out paper pulp and shredded plastic as recycled products the plastics that normally do not get recycled because of contamination or other reasons find a new utility as they can be used for road construction after mixing with bitumen 
in the Butiburi Industrial Area, Nagpur, Dr. Alka Chadkaunkar, Professor of Applied Chemistry, Raisoni College of Engineering, has invented a catalyst system. In this plant, municipal plastic waste is emptied into a feeder and what gets collected at the final stage is the precious hydrocarbon fuel. Look, right now, there are loads of waste plastics waiting to be converted into fuel. In the years to come, plastic manufacturing will be more sustainable. It will continue to make revolutionary changes in our daily life, pleasant and positive. And even the most common man living in a remote village in India will stand to benefit.